Hello and welcome to Plot 2A Plot Update. Today is the 27th of April and it's a little bit overcast today which is really nice as it's not so hot so um, a bit easier to work down here with it being a bit cooler. So welcome in. Okay so over this side we'll start with we've got the mint coming up. Excuse the messiness around the pot but uh, just everything is getting done but rather slowly. Um, and then we've got three plants that were given to me here. I think the middle one is a foxglove. Um, not sure what the other two are. If you can tell me in the comments below, that would be fantastic. They're quite furry leaved. But if you could tell me what those are, if you do know, that would be amazing. So composts and uh, the manure. I tried to grow a pumpkin in the manure to see if the manure had any herbicides in it. And something's eaten the top off, so that's not any good. But my beans are sprouting, so I'm assuming the manure is good and we're okay to use it on the plot. So I will start barrowing a massive lot down there in slowly so that it's got plenty of time to rot down before next year on bed so I won't get round to this year. So I've decided to take the netting off of this bed because it was squashing the onions. And I haven't seen any growth from my carrots or my parsnips. Now, I've just did a quick weed across here. I'm not just sure if this ground is just too hard. It's just clay down here. We've got a lot of clay and it's kind of just compacted and cracked. So what I might do is do another sowing over the top of these and then put some multi-purpose compost on the top of that. Just so it's got a bit of softer... Um, soil to grow through so hopefully that'll work and hopefully these will straighten up a little bit now they've been uncovered round to the peas i planted these have i got a date on this on the third of april and they've come on really well now so pop them in here these little grow tunnels are brilliant so they're in there they're coming on really nicely i've just put a couple of beer traps down that I've made just to stop the slugs but I haven't really had that much of a problem yet with slugs got some peas in the outdoor frame they're all coming up I've done sowings a couple of weeks apart so that hopefully we get them at different times ready to pick and here I've got some purple uh, climbing beans so they're just coming up now and then I've just put in a few runners now I know it's a bit early but we're quite warm here in the southwest, and these have grown um, really well in their little pots. So just planted four out just to see how they fare in the weather. And if they're okay in a week, then the rest can go out. Okay, we've got my um, beetroot from last year that's just looking like it's going to go to seed. So I'll leave that one to seed. Um, stuck there to onions. They're growing on. And then we've got... Um, broad beans in here I know it's rather late but I didn't get round to sign them early so they've come up they're doing quite well and then in this space here I've got carrots no sign of them yet and then we've got chard in here that's all growing quite well that's rhubarb chard that one and then I've got my garlic the garlic seems to be growing really well. I thought it was going to suffer with um, some rust because we've had a lot of wet and dry and wet and dry and humid conditions, but it seems to be okay for the minute. I overturned this area. As you can see, our soil is just absolutely rock solid. It's just really hard. So I might just top that with manure for this year and then just see how we get on next year with that bit. It was a flower bed and I've just got some forget-me-nots in there. But I am thinking of turning this bit into another veg bed because I liked the layout of my plot when I uh, first started. But now I'm thinking, of, you know, there's a lot of space that can be utilised for growing, but I just haven't used. So I think I might turn that into a growing veg bed. The pond, pond's looking really well. I've seen the frog, not today, but the other day. And then we've got some pond skaters in here. And they are some pond skaters and some baby back swimmers i've seen them there lots of snails and things like that i had to pull the sides up because it was sunk from all the rain we had 
that are washed over and this bit had turned into a bit of a river so that's why the sides look quite high in here i just put some leeks so they've started to just appear just slightly appearing there lovely bloom there i've got a sunflower over there but if we just get a bit of a closer look it's been absolutely attacked by i think pigeons or i do have a couple of pheasants in here so i've put some canes around that to hopefully stop them snacking on that one over to my rose now the rose had been doing really well but now it seems to have black spot which is a real shame so i will get a spray and have a have a spray of it and hopefully see if we can salvage it because it's so nice and it's also got some bugs on it i noticed um if we just zoom in here you see those all on there so i know they're nice for the ladybirds and stuff but i do want this one to flower again so i might just spray that one the bee hotel is filling up nicely i've got lots of residents I'm on there so they're blocking all these tubes up now which is great last year i had just two in there so this is amazing really nice to see that they are using it and that it's gonna be well occupied herb garden that's gone a bit wayward and the mint had taken over everywhere now i i know mint does overtake things um and i did read that but i put it in anyway so i've had to pull it back just here to make sure it's not um, killing all of the rosemary off because the rosemary had started dying. That one's come up really well. The flowers on this are beautiful. It's just so it doesn't grow taller. But never mind. Through to bed four. In bed four, I've got my. Um, these were bought as purple sprouting. They don't look like purple sprouting. I think they might just be a sprouting of some sort. Maybe white sprouting or something. I don't know. You'd have to let me know in the comments. Very amateur that I am. These two cauliflower I've just planted in. They're looking quite good. And then along here I've got a row, if you can see it between the weeds, of beetroot. Let's come up. So that's bed four. Bed five, I've just raked this over. I'm not planting anything in there yet because in there will go, I think I'm going to go roots in that one this year. And then I've got the um, leeks and that that are going to seed, which I'm going to leave because I want to see them flower. So that would be really nice. Then in bed six, I've got a row of uh, mid um, potatoes, I think they are, in there. And then along the side where I've watered, I've just put some climbing beans in there to grow alongside see how they get on the new pins are doing really well i wish i had these at home not down here because it's a bit wasted down here but the bees will like them so that's good and then we've got a bed that i've put the manure in for this year that will leave till next year and round the zigzag bed we've got onions again and then where the sticks are, I've got my potatoes. Now these have started coming up. So I've just been um, earthing these up. Because last year I didn't earth up and didn't get many potatoes at all. So this year we'll try earthing up and see if we get a bigger crop. In here I have parsnips. So I'm hoping that's the first one that's come up. Because, well, there's a sort of three in a row there. So hopefully they are the parsnips. And there again, so that would be really good. I do like parsnip soup, so I can get through a lot of parsnips. This bit's empty. I haven't really got a clear plan this year, which is really annoying. I need to sit down and make sure I know exactly where everything's getting planted, but I kind of haven't, and I feel a bit um, disorganised with it all this year, but I really must sit and do it. The strawberries I covered with some of the straw... And they've really come on really well since doing that. They've just put on loads of growth, which is amazing. And they have started to flower. So that's lovely. 
I will net them as soon as I get the first size of fruits on these because I don't want the birds to have them. These are two years old now, so I can have the fruit off of these, which would be really good. And then I'll just go... Oh, that area there, we've decided to cobble because there's so many weeds um, in amongst the fruit bushes. So I'm going to manure all that. So hopefully by the next video, you'll see that all manured. And as always, lots of tidying to do. The tea shed's now all papered. So I just need to find some signs and things and pretty it up inside and get some cups and that down here, which would be great. So into the polytunnel. Okay, so in my first video, I had lots of sowings of uh, lettuces and things, salad -y stuff. None of them came up. Well, they did, but they were eaten like almost straight away. So we've decided to beer trap, but I haven't got any beer. So we have cider trapped today. So hopefully that will work. I don't know if any of you have tried with cider. If you can let me know, that'd be great. I need to come back down later and cover this with multi-purpose compost. Just a thin layer, but I've put in lettuces, a couple of rows of pak choy, and then mixed salad leaves all the way up through there to the onions. This side, it's amazing. These were planted exactly the same time. The only difference is that is just more clay soil and this was homemade compost so it shows the difference in nutrients so they're coming on really well and then we've got some chard rainbow chard in here that's popped up which is really good the problem i had in the beginning with this bed or well, the whole of the inside of the polytunnel was because i wasn't here much it didn't get watered so i have run this hose in now and i've got a drip feed on this but only when it rains because the butt is empty the water butt is empty so hopefully this will stay more moist every time we rain have rain because it'll seep through the pipes i also need to go down through the back here and weed behind the beds it's really annoying if i thought about it beforehand i would have pulled the beds further inwards because i've got the space and not have them so tight against the polythene there because i can't get to it to, to weed behind there very easily so all i can kind of do is keep pulling the heads off and hopefully keep them at bay a bit like that so that's the inside of the polytunnel and i did say on my last video i had to give an update of my stuff growing at home um all the seedlings and stuff so i will do that um i'll go back today and do that i think so that was just a very quick plot tour um hope you're all staying safe and well and i'll see you all soon bye for now <laughs>